you'd like me to introduce myself? Yeah. Thank you. I am Ramota's friend, and that is why I'm doing this interview. So I, I want to let the world know that as we go out into the universe here. And uh, I teach the five rhythms, and Ramota has been my student. Uh, and he's also been my co-anchor at a number of different workshops where he um, very willingly uh, helps me set the tone for the group. Wouldn't you say that's right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's all I want to say for today. I'm a guest in Maui and I'm happy to be here. What is the five rhythms? What is the five rhythms? The Five Rhythms is a moving meditation practice that I have studied for over 30 years. And um, it never ceases to amaze me. You dance five distinct ways of moving, flowing, which is very slow and easy and fluid, and staccato, which is the next rhythm, which is very... Uh, percussive and clear and uh, sharp and chaos which is very random and fiery and uh, unpredictable and mysterious and lyrical which is all about easing up on the gas pedal and lightening the load and stillness which is for me one of the most beautiful paradoxes which is how do you move stillness how did I get started? My best friend, Deborah, uh, told me that I had to go to see this woman, and uh, her name was Gabrielle Roth, and I had to save up every penny I had because I was a poor little nonprofit church mouse. And uh, I went to Esalen and I met Gabrielle Roth, and uh, I danced in the little corner of the room for the first few days, and then I went, okay, enough of that, and I never looked back. And she became my teacher, and has been for the past 30 some odd years. Um, yes, I have. A uh, part of the requirement for our teacher training is to work with different groups and so I chose to work in our local high school, and there was a group of kids that were uh, deaf, and some that were visually impaired, and so I worked with them. Uh, I'd have them lie on the floor so they could feel the beat, the, the kids that were uh, hearing impaired, um, so they could actually feel the vibration on the floor so they would know what rhythm we're in. And for the blind people, um, uh, I'd either have them partner up so that they could feel what it's like to move through the room, or I'd have them in a stationary spot in the room and people could come and work with them. But I haven't worked with anyone that was, I worked with some people in chairs, but no one like you until you, Ramoto. <laughs> um, hello, how are you? Okay, so what I understood is, have I learned a lot doing the five rhythms in the last seven years? In the past years? Seven years? Seven. 17 years? Yeah. yeah, I've learned more than I care to mention. <laughs> no, that's not true. What have I learned in the past 17 years? You know, one of the things that I've learned, I don't know when I learned it, but one of the things I learned is to never judge a book by its cover. Oh, that's my only lesson. How do you do it? How do I do that? How do I do that? Well, the first thing is to not make any assumptions about someone. Who's to say whose movement is right and whose movement is not? Who's to say um, uh, that uh, slow is better than fast? 
who's to say that up is better than down? Um, there's so many ways. It's what I love about this. It's why it's so new every time I step on the dance floor. There is no way to do it right and no way to do it wrong. And uh, that is always intriguing and curious and, and wonderful for me. I, I love it. And I love people and I know they come because they're called. And that is the other thing that I feel like I have learned, is not to take people necessarily at their word, but at their deed. Oh, I need to do that. Yeah, well, you will. You will, as you, as you age in this crazy world of ours. Yes, if they show up, it means they want something. And that's the part of them I'm speaking to, not the part of them that talks to me. I'm actually, frankly, less than interested. Biggest What's the biggest challenge? Yeah. Me. I'm my biggest challenge. <laughs> Frankly. <laughs> yeah, to be able to get out of my own way. And that's whether I'm a student in, on the floor and dancing or whether I'm, you know, holding the group. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's all the same meditation, which is um, how do I step aside and let the essence come through? Anything I want to ask you? How old are you, Ramoda? Say again. 23 and a half? Uh huh. How old do you feel inside? 15. 15? Yeah. Uh huh. How, how old do you think, uh, how wise do you think you are? Not very. Not very. <laughs> Uh -huh. tell, tell me, why, why did you want to interview me about the five rhythms? Because you want to listen. Uh, I, yes. Uh, I really know that you're able to be still. I'm able to be real? Be still. Still. I'm really wondering how, I'm really wondering how to do that. How did I learn to be still? Learning how to be still. Yeah. Me too. Me too. It's not an easy thing. Because you are able to do that better than me. I am able to do that better than you. I'm older than you. And you have more. I'm always thinking. You're always thinking. That's the that's the job of the mind is to think. Uh-huh. Good luck. <laughs>